wild blue. So we're doing this as kind of a follow up to the video we had of the rock throwing squatch or whatever it was that we encountered out in the forest. So if y'all haven't seen that video, y'all go check it out because you know, there ain't nothing more real than that. So anyway, in this one we're going to go into a little bit more detail of some of the things we saw that night and I'm going to slow down some of this footage, specifically some of that last bit of night vision footage during the rock throwing event. So anyway, let's get on with it. I thought we just heard something out there. Something's getting thrown in the water. I don't know what it is. Got two big splashes. I don't know if it's a squatch throwing rocks. Yeah, let's look through the night vision. Let's see what we got. I know there's some turtles out here that sit along the, the banks of the river on the trees there in the water and they'll jump in from time to time but usually when I've been out here before you know they're pretty pretty quiet about getting in the water we got another one dead gum what is that look here what we got so at this moment here we're listening we're hearing them rock throws. We just sit there waiting. I'm panning around, looking across this river here, seeing what was there to be seen. And at the time, I didn't see nothing. I was just looking blindly, pretty much. And then if you look right here, I'll slow it down for you here in just a minute. Check it out. What we got here is some eye shine. We have two eyes. Look at them right there. I'll slow it down again. Here it is again for you. Two eyes right there looking back at me. So, what was it? It's obviously something was watching us from across the river. And if it was my guess, I believe that whatever this thing was that was watching us was also throwing them rocks in our general direction. Maybe we was invading on its personal space, invading into its personal bubble. Maybe it was just trying to get our attention. Maybe it was trying to give us a warning, tell us to get on up out of there. I don't really know for sure, but whatever it was, I know it was out there and it was looking at us and it was interacting with us in a way that I don't think, you know, there could be really a logical explanation for it. So just a little bit of background for that night. You can kind of tell, listen to some of our dialogue between me and my brother during that video. It was a cold night. If I remember correctly, it was 28 degrees when we was out there. And one of the things I thought it might be was turtles there on the river falling in but the fact that we can see some eyes now looking at this night vision footage, I don't think that was the case at all. And at the end of the last video, I went into it a little bit, talking about how there ain't no turtles out there, especially with as cold as it was. It was all hibernating, be my guess. What was it? You know, maybe it wasn't something throwing rocks at us. Maybe it was just an owl looking at us. We got a lot of owls around here, and they probably look like that when they're looking at you through night vision. Maybe it was another person out there. It had to be pretty crazy, about as crazy as me to be out there in the middle of the night expecting someone to come in looking for a Sasquatch. Maybe they was camping out on the other side of the river, but you know, we didn't see no other cars out there. Whoever would have been out there would have had to come in from the other side of the river. I mean, there's a way in there, but you know, they'd have to park somewhere over there. There ain't, there, there ain't nowhere to park on the other side. I've been over there. I checked it out. Maybe they was camping out there illegally. Who knows? Maybe it was some criminals out there dumping bodies. They've been finding bodies out there over time. But that brings me up to my next point. Perhaps it was a ghost. Maybe there was a ghost out there. One of the people had been killed. There have been a number of people killed out there. Bodies found. Maybe a haunted forest. Who knows? Maybe it was a Sasquatch. You know, finding Bigfoot's been out there before. There's actually a place on Google Maps. If you look at it, it is called Bigfoot Lodge. I ain't been there yet. We're gonna go out there next time and we're gonna check it out. But who knows? Was it a Sasquatch? An owl? Crazy old camper? Was it even a dog man? Something like that? That's the thing. We don't know. All we know is that something was throwing rocks, what I assume was rocks in our direction. Something was watching us. Maybe these events were connected. Maybe they just happened to happen right there at the same exact moment, which seems unlikely. So that's it for this video. 
Hope you all enjoy. Hope you all have questions. Because there's a lot of questions in this world that we got to answer. So if you all have any stories y'all like to share about Bigfoot, aliens, UFOs, ghosts, all that good stuff, send them my way at wildbluetvstories at gmail.com. Check out our Facebook page and also check out our website, wildbluetv.tv. We've got all the links. But one thing I want y'all to do, like and subscribe because that helps us out. It keeps us going. That's our fuel to make more Wild Blue. With that said, Wild Blue out.